Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And guys, this is the first time that we have come to the Tiber River. And honestly guys, I just literally came in here. I've kind of checked over the species, checked over what they like to go after, many of which I've dealt with in other games and in other maps here. So I'm just kind of playing by ear here. So this is basically my first look. And we're starting off down here at the Streaming Beauty. Now this particular peg, it's got speedy waters and it seems to be have great amounts of brown trout, grayling, and European chub. I'm sure it has other species as well. In, fa in fact, I just caught a marble trout. And let me go ahead and show you him real quick. Here he is. Caught him off of shrimps. So let's take a look at him. It's a fish I have not seen before. But he's a pretty fish. 2.4292 pounds. Nice healthy eating fish there. But I've got a couple of my rods out here. And as you can see I'm already getting another bite. This is again the shrimp. So they do like that. Also got spawn sacks. I've heard they go for those as well. Mayflies is another one. That seems to be a very big trout favorite. But we're going to see what this guy is here real quick. Ooh, trophy European brown trout. That's a nice way to start this off. That's a pretty fish. It's a very pretty fish. Let me see. All right. Kind of get a good picture of this guy here. Can I go a little bit down or not? Yeah, I can. There we go. Uh, <laughs> better do this fast. Okay, we are going to keep him as we get this one. I haven't had a chance to try the spinning yet. <laughs> okay, this is off spawn sacks. Wow, I like this already. This is... Usually you come in here and you're not sure what you're doing. You're not sure if you're going to catch anything. A unique creek brown trout? Holy crap! Oh my god, people! Unique Creek Brown Trout. A uh, unique right off the bat. I cannot believe that, guys. Right off the bat. I haven't been playing five minutes. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Yeah, I, I came over here. You start off over in this area right here. But as I was looking over here, I saw this little inlet. And these areas are always great to fish at. In real life and just look like a good place to throw your feeder rods and I am going to keep up with what I've got because this is obviously what these guys are after I may not even get to spinning at this rate <laughs> but I've got a number of spinning rods available I've got my elemental I always carry that one. Let me go ahead and show you here what I've got. Now this is my River Tech Sal Monster. Now this is one you have to get from a kit that you buy for fishing in the Kanik. This is a heavy, heavy spinning rod. It can catch up to 42 pound fish. I thought I'd bring this guy along because I know some of these guys, especially some of the trout, can get quite large. I also bought my Brutus, which is another heavy rod, and since this is a float fishing rod, this is probably what I'm going to be using primarily to go after the Wells catfish, which I really want to get one. And I've got some pretty heavy line, but I don't think there's anything much heavier than this without spending even more money, and that's more money than I've got. So we're just going to have to fight whatever we catch. Because those Wells catfish, as you well know, can get quite, quite heavy. 
But I think I'm going to get out my saw monster. I've got a bullet spinner on here. I'm going to just see how this one does. Just to start off with. I might try a crankbait or two. And maybe a spinner. But pretty much you do not use any of your regular spoons here. They're not going to be very effective. You're going to need your, th your thin spoons, your medium spoons. And I would imagine a stop and go is going to be ideal. Yep. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, are you serious? Are you serious? Holy crap. What did I catch? What is this? Six pound test? Well, that might be my problem. I think we're going to need to do a little bit better than that, guys. <laughs> Holy crap. That was amazing. Let's see. Well, we can go better than that. That's for sure. Let's see. Let's go 25 pound test here, guys. This That should do it. Holy crap. That was like so fast. Let me see here. Well, the bullet spinners are pretty popular. Throw another one on here and see how that does. Yeah, I was not expecting that. And let me see. I've got it down pretty low, so I guess the speed's good. Never fished this, so this is all new. And we've got number one busy. All right, come on. Yeah, this is this is when it gets fun, guys. And it should mean that we'll pay European brown trout. Not bad. This means we should pay for this pretty darn quick. Lord have mercy. All right, I'm coming. Let's see what we got here. Another marble trout, another personal record. Now, now he's just regular size, but he's the biggest of what I've caught of these so far. So that's what? Four species so far? At least. All right, let's get back to this. <laughs> like I said, I don't think you could do more than this. I don't see how you could keep up with it. Jeez, are you kidding me? Okay, this is not a big fish. We'll see what it is. He's a feisty little bugger, though. I will give him that. That's a creek brown trout like I caught earlier, only that one was unique. Those are pretty, though. Ah, sorry about that. Let's throw this way up in there. See what the hell's after we. Jeez, Louise. Still want to see what the heck that other thing was. Boy, this is definitely testing this to the limits, and I've got to bite off the other one. Another marble trout.
This is probably another one of those creek trout. So that's, that must be like the opening of a creek, which would make sense. Yeah, it's starting to look like if you want to do some spin casting, you just have to do spin casting. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to not even get a chance. All right, let's try throwing this over here, see if we can't get something different. And I'm going to try the headwaters here. And we'll go back to our spinner. Yeah, whatever that was, it was not messing around. And we got another one. Yeah, guys, this is going to make for a lot of episodes because there's a lot of pegs on this river. European brown trout, 146. Okay, let's try over here. Well, got another bite. There it is, number two. Lots of trout, lots of trout. European brown trout, that's probably the most common, I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm going to try this medium spoon. I don't know if it's too big or not, but we'll see. Jeez, please. <laughs> Trophy Creek Brown Trout. I tell you guys, this has been a this is a lot of fun. This is a lot of fun. You know, I was kind of expecting to be sitting here a while, but... Good God! I think we got us another... Another creek brown? Okay, let's try casting this way down this way, just for giggles. Well, one thing is for certain, it is not easy to spin cast feeder fish at the same time here. Son of a gun. You gotta be kidding me. I just threw it down there to see if anything that could be different, but we are still getting bites. This whole thing is just rot with them. Oh, cool. 
A young Wells catfish. That was not expected at all. He is 3.278 pounds and he's a young Wells catfish. <laughs> Ooh. Well, when you consider how big they can get, 250 pounds I think has been the record. So it looks like you got some Wells catfish down on this end. I'm going to put that down there again just, just because it could be fun. All right. And I think I'm going to throw this one back out in this creek way up there. Get some unique spots here. Oop, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. You've got to be kidding me here, people. Okay, I'm not sure what we got, but it's not huge. Yeah, this has been a pretty good first look at this. Excellent first look. The only bad thing about the whole thing looks just like European grayling. Yeah, I like these because they have that huge fin. Well, guys, that has been a very successful trip so far. Let me see what all we've got here. Check it out. And I've caught all these with you, except for one fish. Almost $2,000 worth of fish already in just that short amount of time. That's going to pay for itself very quickly. As much as they're biting, I can't even imagine it not paying for its trip in just one day. Well, sounds like we got us another bite off number two. Yeah, the crankbaits didn't seem to to do much. Maybe I'm in the wrong peg. Maybe I'm not doing the right at the right speed. Maybe I have the wrong crankbaits. I don't know, guys. But looks like we got us maybe another Wells catfish. Yes, we do. This one's over four pounds. <laughs> I'll be damned. Alright guys, that's probably good enough for one episode. I hope you enjoyed our first look here at Tiber River. And this is just the very first peg. But we've caught a lot of fish. Anyway guys, always remember, aim straight, cast far and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye bye.